In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to use Graham's law of effusion. Question one reads, an unknown gas effuses at a rate that is 0.462 times that of nitrogen gas at the same temperature. Calculate the molar mass of the unknown gas in grams per mole. To do this problem successfully, we'll need to know Graham's law of effusion that's shown right here. We have the rate of one over the rate of two is equal to the square root of the molar mass of the second over the first. We're told that the unknown gas effuses at a rate of 0 0.462. That's a ratio, so 0 0.462 to one. Therefore, the rate of our unknown can be represented as 0 0.462, and the rate of nitrogen can be represented as one. This is equal to the square root of the molar mass of nitrogen. The molar mass of one nitrogen atom is 14.01. And since nitrogen gas is a diatomic molecule, N2, we multiply this by two, which gives us 28.02. We'll place this number in the numerator of this fraction. 28.02 divided by M1, which is the molar mass of our unknown gas. We don't know what that is. And we want to solve for M1. To do this, we'll need to algebraically manipulate this equation. We have a square root on the right side, and our target is within the square root. To get rid of the square root, I square both sides. 0 0.46 squared, I don't need to write down over 1, is equal to, and by squaring the right side, the square root goes away. 28.02 over M sub 1. To find M sub 1, I'll multiply the whole equation by m sub 1. That'll make it go away on the right side, and it'll appear on the left side. And then I'll divide both sides by what that is equal to. 28.02 divided by what that is equal to, 0.462 squared, gives us 131.27. 131.27 grams per mole. That's the answer to question number one. In question number two, we're asked, find the ratio of effusion rates of hydrogen gas and krypton gas. So we're looking for the left side. What I will do is take the square root of hydrogen gas, its molar mass. The molar mass of hydrogen gas is approximately 2.01, 2.01, and the molar mass of krypton gas, that's a noble gas, is approximately 83.79. And both of these values can be accessed using your periodic table. Now I'll take the square root of 2.01 by 83.79. That gives us 0 0.1548. 0 0.1548. And it doesn't really matter the significant figures here because both of these are technically exact numbers. So I can't say that this is 3 and this is 4, so I should leave it to 3 significant figures. That is the ratio of hydrogen gas to krypton gas. And there you have it. That is how to use Graham's law of effusion.